Operation Dragon Spear was conducted last week at Fort Irwin, California's National Training Center. The operation demonstrated the joint forcible entry capabilities of the GRF to leaders from across the Department of Defense. We're the global responsible. We are one of three brigades in the 82nd that get charged with that responsibility periodically. We are responsible uh, and accountable to this, the Secretary of Defense and the President for uh, rapid deployment within 18 hours of notification. For the 82nd Airborne Division, the last 14 years of combat deployments have come with known missions, known timelines, known locations, and known enemies. Future fights will likely not afford such luxury. And the challenge behind joint forcible entry is not knowing any of that. We need to have demonstrated legitimacy in this capability. It's our muscle. It's us flexing our muscle. Nobody wants to get into the ring with the undefeated heavyweight champion. The exercise saw over 600 paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne Division's 2nd Brigade Combat Team working in conjunction with Army Ranger and Special Forces elements execute an airborne forceful entry operation, seize an enemy airfield, and use it to rapidly build combat power for follow-on operations. With just minutes separating the first paratrooper boots hitting the ground from the arrival of C-17s carrying Kiowa helicopters and armored striker combat vehicles, the exercise demonstrated the true might behind the GRF and America's joint forceful entry capability. From Fort Irwin, California, I'm Sergeant Dylan Heiliger.